Hey everybody, it's Jeff with Team Catfish. Hey, you know, for years, for years now, uh, we've been getting requests from people that uh, wanted us to see us try to catch some fish off the bank. Uh, most of the fishing we've done in all of our videos is always out in boats, and I'm here with my good friend Tom Boyer on his piece of property here on the Canadian River in Oklahoma, and uh, we're going to whoop some secret seven catfish bait right down here in this muddy river and we're going to see if we can catch us a catfish. Uh, we're pretty limited on the amount of uh, places that we can get down to the water. We brought our old metal boat down here and we're, we're going to plan, we're planning on uh, floating down the uh, river a little bit tomorrow. But uh, Tom, can you kind of pan around there and sh show everybody we're just on an old muddy uh, sandy river here and there's a lot of people in the Midwest and the South uh, that uh, pr really probably all over the country uh, that have uh, to deal with conditions like this to fish and uh, the river's up a little bit right now compared to what it what it usually is and uh, tomorrow when we get out in the boat I don't think I'm gonna take my video camera but all these little laydowns and these stumps and stubs that are along the way uh, we're going to put it on the other side of Tom's property, and we're just going to take, me and my two boys, we're going to take this little 10-foot or 12-foot John boat, and we're just going to float around uh, for about a mile or two here, and stopping and throwing the Secret 7 and the Sudden Impact Catfish baits out into the, uh, to the river. And if the fish are there, you're going to know it real fast in a small river like this. This isn't something where you're going to want to just sit around here and wait and wait and wait for hours on end for a fish to come to you. Well, it happens to everybody. You get a long way from your house, and the next thing you know, you forgot something, and I forgot my swivels. Can you believe it? And we got all the way down here three hours from our house, and uh, I can promise you we're a long way from the nearest tackle shop, aren't we, Tom? Yes, we are. You know, uh, so I still want to use a sliding rig, and I'm going to show you a little trick uh, it's kind of an emergency rig, but uh, we're gonna we're not gonna be able to use the tug of war uh, monofilament for leader material. We're gonna use a, the main line right here. But uh, all you have to do is go ahead and rig it up with your sinker slide, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna tie a piece of dip tube on. Now, folks, I've seen people use cigarette butts. I've seen people use sticks. I've seen people use anything that's not sharp and abrasive to tie into your line to, to con so you can continue to have a sliding rig. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a, uh, uh, that grandma's knot again, okay? I'm just going to go here, I'm going to go around my loop five times, pull that through, I've got a little bit longer tag end, I'm going to go back through the top hole. Pull that through there. Now, this is going to tighten up just like it would on a hook or a swivel, but I'm going to tighten it up around this little red piece of dip tube right here. And there it is. Okay? That's my stop right there, and that line will not cut, uh, or that, that dip tube will not cut your line. And what that's going to do, I can continue to uh, use my sliding rig, which I really, really like to use with dip bait. We're going to put a three ounce sinker on there. And that's that's gonna work just like uh, just like it would if there was a swivel there. It might not be quite as pretty. I really like to use that uh, tug of war monofilament for my leader material, but that'll come right down there and stop. Works just like if a swivel was right there in theory. So the next time you go out on the water and you forget your swivels or you forget something, you can improvise. Just use your head a little bit. Uh, you know, come up with a a little uh, tip or technique that uh, that will help you. Uh, that's a tip from Team Catfish. I'm ready to get down over the hill with these boys and see if there's a channel cat down there. Hey, uh, Tom, get a shot of that. So see the rocks right down there where the boys are playing? Okay, we've got what we've got here. We've got an outside bend on the river. And typically, on rivers like this, your outside bends are always gonna be your deepest spots. And I'm going to go right down this trail, and we're going to get right down in here. And you don't have to cast very far. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I've got some Secret 7 catfish bait in here that's about four years old. 
uh, we don't even have a label on this old jar. People ask me all the time, they say, uh, how, how, what's the shelf life of that Secret 7 catfish bait? If you keep it in a cool, dry place, just like a garage or a storage building, and every now and then, every once a year, something just mix a little bit of vegetable oil or uh, condensed milk in with it, it'll keep a long time. Uh, so that's another little tip. Let's get to fishing. Now what we, what we got right here, you saw me, you saw Tom and I up the top. We've got a old sandbar up here and this river turns and makes a big hard corner right here. Some of this water is going back this direction, but the main flow is headed down that way. And those are the rocks down there where we were talking about fishing. And when we got down there, we looked down this way and we thought, well, let's start up here. And then if we want to move down, we can move down there. Now, back to the old uh, four-year-old Secret 7 catfish bait. Uh, you can just drop that dip tube down in there. I just broke an old Schumach stick off up there. Just drop that down in there. And... Whoop it all around real good. That old stuff is, I've got a little bit of oil, vegetable oil mixed in with it. And there it is. When that hits the water, if there's a channel cat out there, he will be raring to go. You don't have to cast a long way here. These fish might be, might be right here. We're going we're gonna to kind of stage these out. Ooh, that's a nice little old deep hole. Okay, I'm gonna give this one to Owen to watch. Let's just, let's just, uh, Owen, you keep an eye on that. Hayden and I are gonna get the other two poles baited up. Always wanna, you always wanna feel how deep your, your sinker goes too, because you can tell a lot by how deep the water is if you just count your sinker down when it goes down into the water Sometimes you'll hit a spot out there that'll be a little bit deeper and a little bit shallower. And if you're paying attention where your sinker's at, then you're going to know, kind of cast back about the same depth right there. See, that one wasn't near as deep. Not even close. There's a nice deep little pocket right out there. And then I'm just going to flip another one right out here, right in those weeds right there. And these catfish might be right up here eating worms or something right off the edge of the riverbank. I think people, a lot of times, they get in the habit of having to throw it out there too, getting a little smack. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on it. Okay. Hayden, come down here and get a shot of these little weeds in the water. See these little weeds and stuff right here? Old catfish might be right up in there. Okay? So I didn't throw that out there very far at all. And I'll just lay that rod right up in the weeds. Okay, back up, son, and let's uh, see if we can get a catfish. Come on, Hayden. All right, we just got one. Proof that the old four-year-old Secret 7 still works and you can come down here and catch a catfish on a muddy riverbank. How's he feel, Slim? Pretty good. These guys are muddy from head to toe. They've been riding four-wheelers. And boy, I tell you, there's a lot of people gonna love, would love to catch a catfish like that. Not a monster, but you know what? This is the first time that I've done a, a bank fishing. Just hoist him up here, that tug of war will pull him right in. And look at there, everybody. That is on our... Look at there. Look at that channel cat. We'll get back here where I can see him. Look at that thing. <laughs> Man, there is nothing in the world wrong with that. We had a couple good hits right there. And uh, we missed one. I had a hit right up here by my uh, my rod. That's right by the bank. Owen, did you get, a, did you get another smack? Mm -hmm. Okay. And look, that is on the rod that I tied up that has the, uh, the uh, dip tube where we use for a, a swivel. I put a J, a, a little J hook, jackhammer J hook on that dip tube. And uh, we're running out of light, but I can promise you that my two boys are gonna wanna sit here and fish till about dark 30, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, hey, 
everybody this is jeff at team catfish oh did he smack it we can maybe we'll get another one right here let's hayden go ahead and cut that one loose this thing keeps hitting it yeah nice little channel cat is that a pound and a half yeah nice channel cat there is nothing in the world wrong with fishing with manufactured catfish bait here it is uh, getting close to the first of june i get well i guess it's may may 17th and if you don't like this kind of fishing you're a hard person to please this is just a lot of fun to come out here and do with your kids did he lay off of it Owie? Yeah, hey why don't you guys close the show close the video kneel down there hayden you know you know what i always say Thanks for watching Team Catfish videos. How about you, Oi? Thanks for watching Team Catfish videos. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you later.